Hi, this is Mike from BandLab. With BandLab's included instruments and effects, you can make any kind of music you like. In this video, we'll show you how to make a witch house beat with atmospheric drums, gnarly bass, and sinister synths. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I start by setting the project tempo to 80 beats per minute and the project key to A minor. The first element I'm going to create is a drum beat. I add a new virtual instrument track and set it to drum pads, Sinister Trap. I sequence a drum beat with a kick on the first beat of the bar, a snare on the third beat of the bar, and closed hats on eighth notes. I then duplicate this bar out for the rest of the four bar clip. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. I want this drum beat to sound big and spacious, so I open the effects panel and add a reverb, studio reverb effect. I set its mix to 40% and its size to 100%. I set this track to minus 9 dB to give us more headroom to add other elements. Rather than creating a chord progression to base the track around, I'm going to start with the bass line and build things up from there. I create a new instrument track and set this one to Synth Basses, Smooth Reese. I turn this track down to minus 9.6 dB. I sequence a bass line that plays A, E, F sharp, G. I like to rough the sound up a touch, so in the effects panel, I add a distortion, BL driver effect. I turn the tone up to its maximum, then set the drive to 0 0.7. To smooth the sound out a touch, I add a tone multi-filter and set its frequency to 200 Hz. Now I'd like to add an arpeggiated synth line to give the beat a more rhythmic feel. I create an instrument track and set it to leads, dubstep lead. I set the track's level to minus 12 dB. I program a simple arpeggiation that plays A, C, E, C, and repeat this out for the whole 4 bar clip. To smooth this sound out, I add a multi-filter. I turn its resonance down to zero and set its frequency to 650 hertz. I then add a studio reverb with a tone of 0%, a size of 55%, and a mix of 100%. 
Next, I'm going to add some synth parts that I can use to help build the track's arrangement. First, I add an instrument track and set it to leads, Dirty Legato Sa. I set this track to minus 3 dB. I program a part that plays B, A, then B, C, A. To make this part more rhythmically interesting, I add a delay, ping pong delay effect, setting the mix to 50%. I then add a studio reverb, setting the tone to 0%, and the size and mix to 100%. For the next synth, I add an instrument track, and set it to Synths, Trance Pluck. I turn this track down to minus 3 dB. I sequence a pattern that plays on half notes, hitting E, F, and E. Again, I add a studio reverb, setting the tone to 0% and the size and mix to 100%. For the final synth, I add a new instrument track, and this time, select Leads, Big Synth Lead. I set this track to minus 15.3 dB. I program in a part that plays A, E, D, G. This sound coming in is going to be where the track crescendos, and I want to make sure that it has an evocative sound. In the effects panel, I add a studio reverb, setting all the parameters to 100%. I then add a BL driver, leaving the parameters at their default positions. I then add a modulation Vibe 2 effect, which adds some uneasy vibrato that completes the sinister vibe. Now I have all the elements I want to use, it's time to arrange the track. I begin the arrangement with just the drums and arpeggiated synth. After 8 bars, the bass comes in. After another 8 bars, the first lead synth comes in. On bar 25, the evocative lead synth drops. After 
After another eight bars, the remaining synth is added. On bar 41, synths 1 and 3 drop out. Eight bars later, we reach the outro, which consists of the bass line and synth 2. Remember, you can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!